the Silver Cross handicap hurdle is next then. This is a grade three handicap, over three miles. And the top one is the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland, Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck, Western Junction, Darren Thompson, Legalised Paul O'Neill, Original Sunny, Graham Clutterbuck, not very sunny today now, Bailey Plume for James Shea, Fred for David Robertson, Muff Raj Wisdom, Alex Cherry, Chater Saisons for Paul O'Neill, Monte Casino for Paul Fisk, Redwood Edition for David Robertson, Mizarro Tears for Craig Allen, and Not Twice for Vinnie Gerrard. So, 13 then. Going to be looking for somebody. The rain has started now as well since my last race. And away they go. With the grey, the white witch closest to us and skipping over the first hurdle in the lead. But Muffraj Wisdom, Alex Cherry, front runner, is going to come and try and take it up as they pass the chair. And they will shortly pass the winning post. Legalise is pulling for his head. And then they will go around for two complete circuits of the entry track. And Legalise and Muffraj Wisdom disputing the lead, but right over on the inside, Bailey Plume is almost certain to take it up as they take this turn because of the angle and the fact that the ones on the wide outside will be giving away ground. And you can see just how much of a benefit it is taking that inside way around because Bailey Plume has suddenly found himself three lengths clear of the rest of them. With Western Junction just about the back marker at this point. So they're making out, they're making their way out then towards the next. It's a long run, remember, if you were with us for the first race, which was the same trip three mile hurdle. It's a long way from flight one to flight two. And Bailey Plume is in the lead from Honey Honey in second. And original Sunny is after that one in third. The White Witch, the grey closest to us. And Shater Saisons after that one. And Muffraj Wisdom, Fred is next as they take the second. And over that one they all go with Western Junction just a bit untidy at the back. And only one or two of them looking for slightly better ground because Honey Honey has stayed quite wide on the track and is disputing the lead with Bailey Plume as they take the third. And I would say Honey Honey might be just about in the lead at the moment. But if they stay in the formation they're in at the moment and they come to the next turn, Bailey Plume will get back into the lead again. But Honey Honey is going to cut across instead and stop that from happening so it's honey honey then in front with a sensible jockey on board which is always a bonus in so 7 and honey honey in front bailey plume is second the white witch has moved through into third then mufraj wisdom and shater saison then original sunny and misero tears with legalized and then redwood edition and fred as they take the fifth which they all get over nicely monte casino has now been relegated to the back as western junction has moved into the pack but honey honey is in the lead by about three to Bailey Plume, who's still hard held in second. The White Witch moving nicely in third, and Shater Saisons is also going well in fourth. Then Muffraj Wisdom and Legalize with Mizarro Tears and Redwood Edition after that one. And Original Sunny and Western Junction, uh, the back three of Fred Monte Casino, and not twice as they take the sixth, which they all get over nicely. Honey, honey. Grand Clutterbox obscure songs. As they take the seventh. So, he said it was an ABBA track, didn't he, last week? What I can recall must be an album track or a B-side, as Stu would say. And it's Honey, Honey in front from the White Witch in second. And in third is legalised. Then Shater Say songs and Redwood Edition as they pass the winning post for the second time. And just one more time to go. And that's the time that'll count. And Honey, Honey is in the lead from the white witch second then redwood edition and legalized especially a line those three shater saisons is tucked in behind them then bailey plume has just lost his place a little bit fred and mizarro tears after that one and then muffraj wisdom and knock twice with western junction wide on the track monte casino just being pushed along and original sunny has now dropped to the back so it's a grand clusterbook ponty pool racing book ended race at the moment then one at the front and one at the back. So honey, honey. Legalise coming through to challenge in second. And the David Robertson pair are making a forward move as well. Fred and Redwood Edition. And a bit more luck than he had in that bit Fred bowl earlier with Come Shame getting touched off as they take the eighth. And honey, honey's in front. Legalise and show to say songs there. Stable mates coming through to. Make a challenge as well with Fred on the outside as they take the ninth. The two untidy landings 
I don't know, Sonny didn't land all that cleverly, but Fred might just be in front there. And lands in the lead there from Chater Saisons and then Honey Honey and then Not Twice is now crept into it. Then Legalised and Monte Casino is also making a forward move. So one or two of these are now making their move. The White Witch has lost its place, but it's still capable of coming back into it from there then as they make their way down towards the final three flights and Fred is in the lead knocked twice poked ten in the second this is the third last and they're all over that one okay with Fred in front knocked twice his second Monte Casino looking dangerous around the outside here comes the White Witch with a perfect looking run through the middle of the pack Shater Saisons is still there original Sonny's running on has now gone past his stable mate the long time leader Honey Honey who's dropping away they race down towards the second last and suddenly the White Witch comes to challenge Fred Monte Casino closes to us knocked twice still got a double hand from that one is going to need a split. Widest on the track now, Bailey Plume, who's switched from the inside, but it's now in the lead. Fred and the White Witch over the second last they go. And the White Witch and Fred are locking horns and they're battling up this straight, but Monte Casino is within half a length of them. Not twice had nothing under the hood at all when he's asked to challenge. They're over the final flip flight now, then, and suddenly Fred's kicked on again. The White Witch is struggling with the weight, but it's Fred in the lead from Monte Casino. They're racing towards the final half field, and Fred's in front. Monte Casino's trying to close. It's Fred in front. Here comes Monte Casino trying to challenge. Finishing well is an original Sonny, but it's going to be Fred. And Fred takes it. Fred's the winner. Monte Casino, original Sonny. Then Bailey Plume, Misero, Tears and Legalise. Muffarage Wisdom was the last one to finish. And David Robertson's horse hung on this time. Might not be quite such a big race as the bet Fred Bowl, but they all camped. And Fred is the winner. And Fred takes it for David Robertson, Monte Casino for Paul Fisk second, Original Sonny for Graham Clutterbuck third, Mizarro Tears for Craig Allen was fourth, and The White Witch for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.